Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a fun new technique for making shaker cards. We have so much fantastic product to help us make shaker cards. We have our window sheets, we have our foam adhesive strips, we have shaker globes and domes and all sorts of fun things and I love them and they all have a great look to them but today I want to share with you a simple way to make a shaker card without all the extra things. So maybe kind of a beginner shaker card or a more simple version um, that's still just as fun and might get you in that realm of making shaker cards if you haven't gotten to that step yet. So I want to share that with you. So we're going to take one of our clear envelopes. Now Stampin' Up! sells these. They come in a pack of 50. It's a great value for what you get. Usually we use them to put around our cards to protect them if we're um, giving them to someone or sending them through the mail. But today we're going to use it to make a shaker card. So I'm, I just have a piece of DSP here that I'm going to stick right inside, right to the right to the edge of my clear envelope. So you can see I have a little bit of extra space. That's okay, that won't stay. And then I have these snowflake sequins that I'm gonna use as the shaker part of my shaker card. So I'm just gonna open that up. Look how pretty, love it. And I'm just going to grab some of that and just throw it right inside my envelope. Now this idea I got from Rosemary Gonzalez. She just did um, a demonstration with some new product that will actually be coming out in January, but she used this idea and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. So I wanted to do it with the Snowflake Wishes products because I thought it would be so perfect with these cute snowflake sequins. So you can see I have a good amount of sequins in there and they will shake just lovely. I'm going to just peel off this sticky thing and stick this down right against my paper so that it holds right to it, do you see? And then I still have this little area sticking out. I'm just going to take regular tape and I'm just going to tape that down on the back. Just like that, okay? So, you have a shaker card. It's as easy as that. I also wanna show you um, how to stick this onto a card base. So on the back side, I'm going to take, this is called Terran Tape. It's a really sticky adhesive that holds things down really well. So it'll hold this um, clear envelope onto our cardstock really well. So you just peel some of that off, stick it down, and then tear. It's so easy to use and it gives such a good, it adheres things so well. So I'll just put that all around the edge, just like that. And then I'm just going to take and peel off this backing on each of those. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my um, card base and I'm just going to stick it right on there. As easy as that. And you have a shaker card. Is that not so cute? So then you just grab some a stamp set and maybe some dies, some cute paper. And you have such a cute little thank you winter thank you shaker card. So fun. I thought that idea how to make a shaker card was so simple and so cute and I wanted to share it. Let me just pull in a few other ideas that we came up with using this um, shaker card idea. So Beth made this one. This is with the Well of a Time um, suite of products. So cute with those little well sequins in the back. And it has that cute scene in the background. 
Love that. And then on this one, I wanted to use some more fall type colors since that's the season that we're in right now. And I used the Flowers for Every Season suite of products. And I colored these cute sunflowers with blends and put a little Celebrate You. And then the cute little embellishments in the shaker part. So fun. I have loved playing with this idea. I want to thank Rosemary Gonzalez for her demonstration and showing us this fun way to do a shaker card. If you liked what you saw today or if you want to make a purchase, make sure to visit us at stampandjill.com. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Bye.